Capricorn Singles Welcome. That's your singles read for February 2022. Meet the Soulmate. It's an always positive read, I like to say, because I'm simply asking Spirit to help me identify the one that's right for you. So we're not looking here at your next ex problem, your next ex wife, ex husband energy. What we're looking for here is the one that we know is going to be the right one for you. Um, and I use the four pillars here. I use the emotional energy. Look at that in this column. Intellectual energy here. This is the love and romance nature and sexual nature. Here we have the core values and lifestyle. So here also I tend to see the moon. We'll see the sun here. We'll get the Venus and Mars. We can pull a Mercury. So get an idea if you can get uh, their birthday. Hope you can, please. <laughs> And you'll get, have an idea what their chart might look like. So what we have here clearly is an Aries moon person. Um, in fact, that you've got the hermit here. Um, their moon is, because it's an Aries moon, you, you don't want to assume that they're rash. And, you know, they'll talk over you or any, there's a lot of prejudice about Aries moons, I think. Um, because with the hermit energy here, there's a humbleness to them. Um, could be the house that it's in. Maybe it's kind of maybe it's in the sixth house. Moon. Let me know if anyone looks and sees that this person shows up and they have the series moon in the sixth house. Particularly, please leave a comment. Um, here we see the sun sign. We have the stars of Aquarius sun. Uh, this is not um, hard. Uh, I think we might have a Mercury in Aries with the Ace of Wands underneath. This is in the deep unconscious, but I could see a Mercury here. Um, so, you know, it's this is quite a combination uh, with this kind of energy. Um, um, the fixed sun and this cardinal moon. Uh, this is probably someone that uh, they can focus really well and focus their, their mind really well. Um, they probably uh, have some kind of an interesting style of speaking that uh, there's a combination here, like I say, with the, when you look kind of the colors, look at the fire, look kind of this watery color here. I know it's air and earth, but still, uh, there's a subdued uh, energy to them. So it should be like a nice mixture of how they listen, very probably attentively, uh, very intelligently. I think you probably have like a quote unquote intelligent look about them. Um, and this is also someone that in, in some way they've gone inside and, and done the inner work. Now you see here with the hermit, this snake, he's got the light here on this path, very narrow path. But now because the hermit shines the light on himself, knows his own weaknesses, snakes, they rec represent psychological complexes generally, right? And unconscious. So uh, the, the hermit is aware of these, so can avoid problems, you know, by seeing them with this inner uh, focus light. So I think what you won't hear from this person is any kind of stories about, you know, a lot of uh, in difficult relationships, you know, because I think a person would make uh, pretty good decisions, you know, again, not this kind of rash person like you might think here. Um, their sun really holds them back here with the Aquarius energy. Now, in the Venus, um, with the three of uh, Pentacles here, um, we've got an Aquarius sun. I think you got a Taurus Venus. So, in terms of love and relationship, you know, it can be kind of possessive. You know, I've been in a relationship with Taurus Venus. Uh, one of the things about Taurus Venus is so often true. Now, I'm Venus and Scorpio. So this is a little bit of a nightmare for me scenario, uh, but they might well be friends and with all of their lovers of their entire life. So if you're a little older uh, fella or lady like me, you know, and, uh, with someone your age, you know, you, you might find that they are in contact with a lot of their people. Um, the Taurus Venus doesn't like to lose physical contact. It really, it has a, such a strong emphasis on physical contact. I mean, the love language is somehow going to involve physical touch, you know. And that's not necessarily about sex. I mean, a lot of times for them, um, they just really want you physical, in physical proximity to them. And if you are, they're content. They, you may not even pay much attention to you. So, um, uh, as long as you're physically there. So it's not that kind of possessive so much that they'll be looking at your phone and everything. 
It's just if you're if you're together at a party, they'll kind of be looking around. You know, where where's my woman? Where's my man? You know, emphasis on my. Uh, you know, so hopefully you don't find that Capricorn to be difficult, but because I think this person could be really good for you. Um, they also be rather intellectual. Be kind of sharp. You know. Um, I, I don't see them like being this kind of flippant person with a lot of jokes and stuff. I see them being very witty, very sharp. They're really capable of understanding, um, you know, and conversing on probably a, a multiple uh, areas of life. And, you know, they'll be able to be very engaging. You know, if you're a sapiophile, you'll find them entertaining and you know, uh, I think there's going to be like a really good listener. And they're good because they're not only listening, but they're just capable of understanding what you mean, what you're insinuating, the uh, nuances. They're going to pick up on all of that here. And I think what we got for Mars, Pisces Mars with the moon. I mean, Pisces Mars. Um, that can add a sensitivity to them. Um, again, I think coming with that uh, maybe sixth house moon somehow picking up this Virgo energy um, they have this Mars here so uh, in terms of their sexuality I think this is a, this is a classic person you might guess call a switch and I don't mean to talk about Dom so directly but you know they're they're not going to be dominant they're not going to be submissive um, but in terms of romance and uh, they're going to be a lot more uh, vulnerable, let's say, or emotionally available, emotionally involved uh, when the relationship comes to like the physical part of the relationship. So um, I think that'll be the a distinction. Another thing with a Venus and Taurus, it can be like a Venus and Aquarius. It's like, a, you know, kind of tends to love everybody. Venus is at home there. It's wonderful. It's like heaven there on earth. You know, it's a perfect energy for Venus. Uh, but so they tend to draw a lot of people around them, you know, be the kind of people they can be like a, a large body that has other bodies always want to orbit around them. And uh, but I think like in terms of uh, sex, it was not going to be at all like this fiery um, fire energy sex with them. Capricorn it might be to your liking It'd be very sensual with this uh, Taurus energy. And uh, very internal and kind of deep and, and emotional and I don't know, slow. I think of uh, Clapton with slow hand here comes to mind. So in terms of their lifestyle core values, you get two swords here. Queen of swords and a five of swords. Um, that's an interesting combination here. So they do something in the way of communication yeah it might be why they're they're a listener you know somebody's got to do it this person's kind of to me got journalism written all over them um and the in terms of their work and career uh you may find this someone around the house that are a little bristly uh like they're not uh, whatever they are as an aquarius in terms of wanting friendship and being involved with other people i think in terms of the house they're going to want that to be kind of a sanctuary uh, for for you and the family and themselves uh, kind of energy um, and they, they could be a journalist a communicator some type, some type. Um, if a little bit older over time they may have worked their way into some position of authority here this queen of swords is going to show like a natural desire to do that um, and whatever they're doing they're, they're not afraid to speak their voice you know they could be some kind of advocate they could also work as an advocate they could uh what else would that be they, they could work as a um, interpreter they could work as a uh, some kind of conflict resolution here on any kind of different level uh, work in psychology and communication um, this could be education they could be with this queen of swords in a position of education or in front of people and speaking and having authority. It, but I get the feeling like with this Five of Swords, um, the, the way they interact in terms of other people, um, they, they're they not afraid to be assertive. And uh, I believe it's kind of like sticking up for other people, though. It's like particularly when it comes uh, where they feel like they're they have the truth behind them, this Queen of Swords, this necessity behind it. 
Um, they're they're not afraid to speak up and be very forceful. So, uh, and I say this because I think as you would get to know them, turn their love relationships. You know, you people wouldn't think it could be like a lawyer too, like an advocacy lawyer comes to mind. So, whereas you know maybe people wouldn't necessarily normally think of them as being this highly assertive person. You know, I had knew, knew someone like this where I used to work for twenty two years, and he's the greatest guy, so smart. And he was the IT guy, the head of IT. And back then, you know, this was like in the 90s it was a thing to be head of IT and he was such a nice guy we had a big meeting one time and holy moly did he assert himself and he asserted himself so perfectly and so dynamically and I think that's kind of what you have here is like they you know when they assert themselves it's it's seamless it's authentic it's natural it's necessary you know um, and mature and, and even you could say kind of what has a wisdom about it uh, and a maturity, I guess I would emphasize, too, about it. So let me know what you think, guys. I appreciate a like. Help move this along with the algorithm. I hope you comment. I see this as a predictive read. It's usually not meant to be someone's around you now, although people tell me sometimes they, it is. Uh, but someone that will be coming up in this February time frame. So do give me a yell back. Leave a comment if you run across of them uh, coming up here with these signatures. Thank you, guys.